2019 Toyota Camry cabin filter replacement, what you want to do is uh, make sure your car is off and your keys out so your blower motor is not on. Drop this. Get all your stuff out of here. There's this little door. The tab's right here. Open this. It'll slide out like that. This is your uh, cabin filter housing door. There are these little tabs. You get closer right here on the side. And what you do is you just kind of both push up at the same time. Kind of pinch it with your fingers and pull it out. Let me see if I can get it here. Yeah. Go. And then on the other side, you could just kind of pull it a little out. Um, careful not to break the tabs. All right, so notice that says up right there. We're just gonna put our finger in here, pull this tray out. Like this. Oh man, look at that mess. And here's the thing, if you're having noise, any one of these little leaves that gets in the blower motor uh, can cause it to make noise. So what I'm gonna do, take this, put this tray right here, and then I'm gonna look in here real quick. Um, right. Just kinda look in there. All right, all right, that's not really that great. Okay, but um, all right, let's put our new one in. Got my new one here, it's a Toyota one. Notice the arrow with the up, it's kinda hard to see. And then there's my part number. I can't really get a good, I'll, uh, I'll take a picture of the part number and put it on the end of the video. But what you wanna do is um, obviously do this outside at your house or above a trash. You, uh, you pull this out of the tray. Once you have the tray empty, you can put our new one in. And uh, this arrow says up right here, and then this says up right there. So that's the way it goes, like that. Just kind of gently put it in, careful not to rip it. Some, some of them that are aftermarket, even this Toyota one can be a little cheaper. I believe you can get upgraded ones too. The charcoal ones uh, help with like smell, and I think they filter a little better. But if you just get like a cheap one, that's fine too. You can get these anywhere, Amazon, O'Reilly's, Napa, AutoZone. All right, so we're gonna slide this tray back in. that just like the way we found it and then when we put our door on I think there's like a little part of the door that goes under here and pushes that up so let's go ahead and get our door back on oh again if you're experiencing any noise when you turn your fan on like a, a, a roaring noise or like um like a I don't know just like a weird noise that doesn't sound right with everything off with your key out and the blower motor off you could reach in there with your fingers and kind of get any leaves or debris out um, you know, rat nests get in there, you know, whatever. One time I, I had one that was full of acorns. Okay, let's put this on. This side goes on first. You just slide it, slide the tabs in, and then you can just push this side right in. Like that. Okay, it's good. Maybe do like a little shake test. Yeah, that's good. All right, go ahead and do this. Put that tab on. This one's kind of saying that. Let's put this side in first. That side in, and then you just walk in the other side. Come on, buddy. All right, there you go, and then just walk it in. Boom, done. Um, now, if if you're having noise and you and you can't get it all cleaned out, you could probably drop this blower motor from under here. You just pull this down. Uh, I think this just comes right down. Maybe not, but this little panel can come off, and then your blower motor has like three little screw bolts that hold onto it. You could drop it down and like dump it out, spray it with a disinfectant or air sanitizer, whatever. Uh, you could do that too. Um, I have other videos on like Tacomas and Forerunners on how to do that. Uh, pretty much the exact same premise. Toyotas, a lot of Toyotas are very similar. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna throw that part number right right here on the video, and then that's gonna be it.